Hi, I'm Jerry with Middleloop, and today we'll show you how to pass the trust test without reading a single question. Trust is the recreational UAS safety test. As of June 2021, the FAA requires all people flying for recreational purposes to pass this test. The rules for recreational flyers haven't changed. What has changed is now you have to take and pass a pretty simple test in order to get the trust completion certificate that you must have with you when flying for recreational purposes. The good news is it's free. It never expires. It's online. And as we'll show you, you can't fail it. Now you might think that we've produced this video on how to pass the test without actually reading the questions because we are somehow anti-FAA. On the contrary, we very much believe in safe flying and following the rules. And generally, we applaud the FAA in trying to walk that balance of creating rules for safe flying while still making drone flying accessible to the public. I'm sure the FAA developed the test and made it simple in order to educate the public on the basic rules for recreational flying. However, we think, and we hope this video illustrates that they may have gone a little too far. The test is broken up into four sections. No section has more than seven questions, and there are 23 questions total. Even if you read the slides and questions, it shouldn't take more than 30 minutes to complete. Frankly, it usually takes under 15 minutes. To take the test, there are a number of administrators approved by the FAA. The list of administrators can be found on the FAA's website. Now be careful if you just do an internet search. You might come across some illegitimate sites that try to charge you a fee. We'll include a link in the description to this webpage on the FAA's website. This is probably the best place to go to find all the legitimate administrators, and I'm sure this list will grow over time. Even though all the questions are the same regardless of administrator, each of these sites do vary in the way they conduct the test. For example, some require you to create a login ID and password. Others do not. Some let you try the same question over and over again until you get it right before moving on to the next question. Others give you the right answer when you get it wrong and then move on, but then they make you retake the entire section until you get a passing grade for that section. All administrators follow the same basic format. For each of the four sections, they first prepare you for the questions in that section with a series of slides. Then you come to the knowledge check for that section, which are the actual questions. The first section has seven questions, the second section has six questions, and the third and fourth sections have five. So here we go. We'll start on the FAA's website and the list of administrators. Like we said earlier, the administration of the test varies by administrator. We're going to use this one. We've blurred most of the page so that we don't infringe on any trademarks or copyrights, and we're being careful not to provide any answers. This video is more about the method. This site does not require any sort of login. Just click Start. As we said earlier, each of the slides are prepping you to answer the questions. Read the slides, don't read the slides, your choice. Just keep in mind that passing the test and holding the certificate is the first step. You'll also need to fly by the rules. So if you're not familiar with the rules, or you'd like a refresher, this is probably the simplest and fastest way to understand the basics. When you're ready, click Next and continue through the slides. There are 10 until you reach the knowledge check and first question. It's multiple choice, pick one. Okay, we got that one right. Let's move on to the next question. Click Next. All right, so this question only has two answers. Okay, we're not so lucky this time. No problem, just click Retry and this time we'll pick a different answer. So there you have the basic method. Of course, one could argue that it might be faster if you actually read the questions and answers as your odds will improve in getting the questions right on the first try. As we said, the first section has seven questions. Once you've answered all of them correctly, you'll jump right into the second section, which again begins with the slides preparing you for the questions in that section. Just keep going until you've answered all 23 questions. When you do, you'll get to the congratulations page. Now all you need to do is get the certificate. Click Next and you'll be asked for your first and last name as you want them to appear on the certificate. Then click Submit and that's it. Your actual certificate will pop up. We recommend that you download and print the certificate. I always carry the paper copy on me when I'm flying recreationally and I have the electronic copy saved on my phone just in case. I also keep a backup of the electronic certificate on my computer and in the cloud because if you lose it, there's no way to get a copy and you'll need to retake the test. So that's it for today's video. 
If you're interested in other Middle Loop tutorials, we have a bunch on DJI products. The best way to find them is to subscribe to our channel by tapping that subscribe button in the lower right. And by tapping that like button, it'll help other pilots find this video. Thank you, have a great day, and happy flying.